for huddle rooms and small meeting spaces where table space is limited or at a premium, the Devio Ceiling Microphone, or DCM-1, provides a flexible alternative to the DTM-1 tabletop microphone. Equipped with the same 8-element beamforming microphone array with 360-degree coverage and active voice tracking capabilities as the DTM-1, the DCM-1 is a ceiling mic that brings far-end conference participants into the conversation. Available as part of a Devio package, the CR1C, it includes the Devio CR1 appliance with accessories and the DCM-1 microphone kit, which includes the pendant mic itself with cable affixed and strung through a bushing and lock nut, a plenum rated box, which is a junction point for the pendant mic and the CR1, and a seismic cable for safely securing the plenum box to the building structure. An additional DCM-1 kit can be acquired independently of the CR-1C package. A maximum of two can be wired to a single CR-1. Note that there is no option to daisy chain a ceiling mic with a table mic. A room can be outfitted with up to two of either, but not one of each. The DCM arrives with hardware attached, ready to hang through a drop ceiling. The plenum box can sit on top of the suspended ceiling. The attached bushing and lock nut interface directly with the tile. The seismic cable secures the box to the structure. A height adjustment assembly feature pinches off the cable at your desired height. Strain relief is available as well. Open style ceilings can be easily accommodated. Attach the plenum box to your structure and insert the bushing into the most appropriate knockout on the box. Then continue by setting the height adjustment assembly and adding the strain relief. Just what is the appropriate cable length for hanging the DCM-1? We'll take a look now at the features and design of the DCM-1 that you should take into consideration to get the best performance in a given application. Remember, the DCM-1 is fundamentally the same as the DTM-1, the Devio table mic, which means it has eight elements, making up three independent zones, each with automatic voice tracking. In the case of the DTM-1, it conducts this voice tracking within a fixed pickup angle based on average user and table height. With the DCM-1, there's the added variable of the microphone hanging in space. So, some flexibility in that angle has been introduced. Four coverage options in 30-degree wedges are available to facilitate this. They are 0 to 30 degrees, 15 to 45, 30 to 60, and 45 to 75 degrees. For the best performance from the DCM-1, here's the rule of thumb. Aim to get the sound sources, or the user's mouths, located, on average, at the center of the coverage area, and within one to three meters in a straight line from the mic. Let's look at the default setting out of the box, the 30 to 60 degree wedge. This should provide sufficient coverage in most huddle rooms. Applying the rule of thumb, we would aim to get the user's mouths at the center of the coverage area. In this case, 45 degrees to the mic on average, and 1 to 3 meters away from it. An average height person, sitting or standing around an average conference table, will fall into this coverage zone. In this case, the DCM-1 pendant microphone should be placed at about 2.2 meters off the ground. Some flexibility exists here, allowing a hanging height in the following range. The additional elevation angle settings are available to accommodate alternative situations. Consider instances where the room necessitates hanging the microphone from a different height. Here is the 45 to 75 degree wedge. Applying the rule of thumb, a speaker's mouth should aim to be in the center of the area of coverage. In this case, at a 60 degree angle to the mic, and as always, within one to three meters from it. Using the same size people from the previous example, this puts the microphone at two and a half meters off the ground. The minimum and maximum recommended heights here are between 2.2 and 3.2 meters. 
Remember that this coverage is happening 360 degrees around the microphone. Each elevation angle setting provides the best coverage within the following microphone to floor heights. As with most any microphone, the closer it is to the sound source, the better it will perform. So keep this in mind as room dimensions, table sizes, ceiling height and type are all variables that will affect DCM1 placement. The elevation angle is set in the SAU, which is available at BiAmp's support website. Discover your Devio and double click it. In the bottom half of the dialog that appears are the DCM1s. Here, only one is connected, so the second is grayed out. You can only select one coverage angle, but remember, it is in effect 360 degrees all the way around the mic. The azimuth angle tab shows a user-friendly representation of Devio's dynamic voice tracking, giving you a visual indication of where the microphone is seeing voices. The most up-to-date information on Devio setup is available at bia.mp slash deviosetup.